Here she is, my latest pickup. I just came home with it this afternoon. If you don't know what this is, this is a mid-2010 iMac. Now, I'm not sure which version of the iMac it is. Uh, it is a 21 and a half inch, but I'm not sure about the specs so far. I just went and picked it up. I got it for about $80 Canadian. Now, what it came with um, was this keyboard and mouse. Now, unfortunately, I'm guessing the last person who owned it didn't use it very much because it seems that the batteries have expanded inside. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do with this. It looks like he's been trying to chew it off and wasn't very successful. I'm pretty sure, though, that the, the mouse does work. It feels like there's no batteries inside it, so pretty good score. And for $80 Canadian, you can't really go wrong. So I thought we'd just boot it up. He had it reset at Apple, luckily, so it came right up to this screen right here. So I'm gonna set it up and we'll just take a look to see what I got for $80 Canadian. So first of all, I'm gonna select English for the language. Now, I don't think the previous owners ever upgraded this, so it might be a little bit slow to do the setup uh, as I'm pretty sure there is a either a 500 gigabyte or a one terabyte spitting hard drive inside, not an SSD. As you can see, just selecting English. Apparently it's very difficult for this Mac. So I'm gonna stop you here and we'll continue. Oh, no need. All right, so as we go in, I am in Canada. I'm gonna be selecting an English keyboard. Um, other network options for now. Yeah, so we're not gonna transfer information. I'm gonna set this up as a brand new Mac. Um, fine, location services will be turned on. Sure, yeah, I agree. We'll set this up. Yeah, password. All right, so maybe I'll just change the picture or some of the defaults that we could take. Why not the owl? All right, so owl is selected. And it is creating the account. And we should be good to go in about a moment. I have to say, I'm very excited for this. This is the newest iMac that now I now own. I also have a 2009, a I believe couple of 2006s. My G5 iMac, however, does not work. So it boots, makes a lot of noise, probably capacitors. We do not need to share data with Apple because I'm pretty sure it is a very old system. So my guess it's running 10.13. And let's see what it's actually running. I'm almost completely sure there is only a spitting hard drive and this is essentially the same way he got it from the factory, which I guess, depending on the use cases, is not bad. It means you save money on long-term upgrades. And this, or I believe it's actually 2011 or 2012 iMac, are the last ones you can't actually really do much of anything, or at least for the smaller one. And there we go, we booted to the desktop. Let's see. Go to about this Mac. And there it is, so it's the i3, four gigs of RAM as well. And go to System Preferences. Try that again. Preferences. Hard disk. And we'll check it over here. I believe it is the original drive. Yep, and there it is, the original drive. Amazing. So everything looks pretty good very clean 
I have to say this is a really great pickup. Again, I got it for 80 Canadian. I might be doing some upgrades in the end. I think I'm going to be adding in more RAM because it's very limited in RAM right now. So we'll see, I believe this model can go up to 16 gigabytes. After that, who knows, maybe long-term I'll install an SSD, but I believe either I'll have to do a software um, solution because the fans will go erratic because they won't be able to measure the temperature sensor on the hard drive. Or I believe you can get a cable from OWC. Not entirely sure if I'm going to be doing that or not. So here it is, the $80 iMac. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a like, and hit that notification bell to see whenever a new video comes out. So I'll see you guys in the next one.